All right. The 12th ranked DU lacrosse team, they beat Hartford 11 10 today to improve to 3 1 on the season. Mark Matthews. Quite a story, extended his consecutive goal and point streak to 33 games. The senior attacker is on the short list for the Tewaritan Award. That's the Heisman Trophy of lacrosse. Now, I found out there's more than just competitive desire that drives this young man to give his best every time he takes the field. Circle it around. Matthew shot. Score. I've been in this college coaching business for a long, long time. I've had some great, great players over the years, but Mark's certainly in the top three or four of that group. What he did last year leading this team to a Final Four. Getting so close last year was, you know, was, you could you taste it, and now, uh, you know, coming into this year you know, with high expectations, and, you know, it would be nice to come up with a, you know, the national championship to finish it off. That's not the only goal Mark Matthews has for his senior season. DU's all-time points leader is also shooting for something that's been hard to come by. Credit from his biggest critic. Doesn't matter if I score 10 goals, she's still telling me I play like crap. It's two years in a row I've won a national championship in the summer, and you know, there still hasn't been very many good things to be said from her about those. So, who's nitpicking the Pio's soft spoken star? Heather Matthews. Pick it up, 22. That's Mark's mom. He always comes to me first, and he knows he's going to get it whether he played good or not. And I, and I give him the, the good points too. That's how the great ones become great. You know, when they're, when they're loved, they know they're loved, but they also can be told the truth. So many kids these days, if they, uh, if they trip and, and fall and never stand up, their parents still tell them they were the best player on the field. I'd like to see 100% effort at all times, and uh, if it's not there, I'll call them on it. And that includes the classroom, which explains how Mark went from a so-so student to a 3.0 GPA. She's the one keeping me in school most of the time. She's, uh, you know, helping me out when she can and, you know, keep me on track to graduate. So it's, you know, with her, without her help, I don't know if I'd still be here, that's for sure. They say behind every great man is a great woman. That's Mark's mom. It's the biggest fan, as I said. It's a great story, one that figures to have a happy ending. I hope so. Hopefully one of these times she'll, uh, you know, she'll finally open up and say I finally you know, had a good game or a good se season. I always tell him when he has a good game. I'd love to see this team win it all. Um, if you played well, I'll tell him good job. <laughs> She's one of a kind and a great sport. And hey, based on Mark's play, quite the motivator. When